Recently, we came across a very interesting story of a man named Owen. He has his own YouTube station, and on his channel, he has a fan whose father had a tragic accident and needed a new prosthetic foot. So with the help of 3D scanning and printing technology, he made this man a new prosthetic foot. Using which scanner? Revel Point's new Morocco standalone scanner. So let's understand more so what exactly happened to this man. He got in a tragic accident and needed to have his foot amputated. But unfortunately, the technology for prosthetics at that time was not the best. So the prosthetic that they made him was a very hard shell and it caused issues on him. For one, because it was so hard, it caused calluses and sores on the bottom of his nub. Also, it was thicker than his actual natural walk. So that caused pressure on his knee. To make matters worse, it didn't even last a year. It broke within a year. So then he tried to fix it himself because it was too expensive. So Owen, with the help of 3D technology, made this man a new prosthetic foot. After he gets home, Owen gets on the computer and further processes the 3D model on RevoScan software. Once completed, he 3D prints it and then he has his model for further research for the prosthetic leg. At first, Owen is a little unclear about where to start with this prosthetic, so he made a demo prosthetic for himself. And he found out that the tip of the prosthetic needs to be a little more curvy, more comfortable, so now he knows how the shape should look and feel. The first version looks good. It's very easy to put on and take off. And Owen uses a spinning strap to tighten it around the leg. Really cool design. But the problem is, even this prosthetic is printed with TPU material. The inner surface is still a little too hard and uncomfortable. And the supportive structure is not strong enough. Now Owen tries printing out a different inner structure, density, and with different materials. And then he gets this, let's call it the V1. It looks good. It's a little smaller and much lighter. And putting it on goes a lot smoother. And also walking with V1 is improving. Moreover, now the dad does not need to buy a larger shoe anymore. But foot V1 is still not quite perfect. While walking without shoes and door, the bottom is a little slippery on the floor. And it's a bit narrow, not very stable when standing and walking. Also, the strap hurts a bit on the Achilles. And the top and overall prosthetic is still too hard. What's worse, after about a week, the structure collapses. So Owen's upgrade of the foot V1 is almost complete. He's added new material and a new structure. Here's Owen's final design. The black part is hardened with 50% density. It ensures both structural hardness and flexibility. The white part is where the prosthetic touches the body, so it's a little softer with only 10% density. It ensures total comfort, but the red part gradually changes from the hard to the soft. Plus the bottom has anti-slip on it. Foot V2 is completed. So what I love about this whole story is the prosthetic foot that Owen made for this man. Material cost is only $10. Plus, since they already did the scanning and have all that information in the software, the 3D scanning software, if the prosthetic ever breaks down in the future, it's real simple to bring that up again and 3D print it. So honestly, really want to thank Owen for what he did and that he didn't even charge this man for the labor that was involved in designing the prosthetic. And we also appreciate him using Morocco and showing the world really the benefits of 3D scanning and how it can improve people's lives.